So, good morning. It is Sunday morning and it's uh, 6.45, roughly. And beautiful morning again. Going to be another hot scorching day. So I was up early this morning and so I decided as everybody's still at sleep at home, I can go detecting for a couple of hours and do a little test run. You can hear the train station, the train in the back maybe. And the car next to the side. Um, you already know this field. I didn't bring a map or anything like that because uh, this week I still have to drive somewhere else. I didn't want to pack the car too full with everything. So this uh, permission, now it depends. It's going to be for the international hunt in four weeks time. As you can see, it was freshly harvested. Now, if it rains, what we need also, this grass might be too high because everything is either earlier because of the heat or later, like the grass should have grown. And because we haven't had any rain, they've only just harvested it. So in um, four weeks time, if we get rain now, the grass is going to be too high and we can't detect on it. So this year I have a bigger dilemma of getting permissions um, for the international hunt because either the grass is going to be too high because they've already def only just been able to cut the grass and they're already harvesting the fields what is good so we might have to jump to uh, other fields instead instead of pastures but we will see I've, I'll figure something out now I've got good people that help me like Willy and Marcus so I'm not the only one organizing this. I've got people that are helping me that are going to be on the hunt. So that is great. So let's take a look. It's a nice a long field, massive. So for uh, the 30 people that are going to come for the international hunt, I mean, this is going to be a couple of hours at least. So uh, there you go. Let's go and do some det detecting. Off to the first find. Huh? See you then. So, today's first find is going to come in as a 83, 82, 95, <laughs> not too good. So let me explain a little bit about this pasture is when they built uh, the footpath at the bottom where my car is parking that actually used to be part of the pasture so because the farmer had to give that up that actually gave him a strip of this forest to harvest and you can see it's all very very dry still very hard ground So uh, this strip up here, up here actually was all forest uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And I actually got trees out of here as for firewood. You got the wood free if you uh, harvested the trees. And that's what we did. And he turned it, obviously, for his horses. So this um, was never filled in the last few years for um, crop, only grass, because the owner uh, actually has horses and he uses this field to make hay for his horses. So we know now, oh, it's going to be deep iron, I think. If it's that deep. Cranky. But we will see. Uh, 
open so yeah definitely going to be iron by the looks of it No, my luck, it's going to be some kind of iron ring or something like that. <laughs> so. <sighs> Let me just stop filming, I can't dig it so hard the ground. I'll see you in a minute. Finally, it's an uh, iron buckle. So at least the first find is a buckle, even though it's iron. <laughs> so there you go, that's not bad. Okay, after the next. Now I have to close the hole again. <laughs> Let's carry on. So hopefully we're not going to find too many of these. What is uh, corks? So we call them also hot rocks, of course. Hmm. Okay, after the next. And I got my iron ring, of course. <laughs> so let's carry on. Nice looking beetle. Nearly looks like a ladybird, but it's not big for that and we're going to obviously have a good hazelnut here <laughs> so you should know the place down the bottom right there that's the carp pond I've already been this year detecting that's where I got that nice um, late medieval early new times uh, ring I found down there and musket balls and stuff like that and that's the mill in the background so there you go in my lovely valley and you got the river flowing down in the background and it goes all the way towards the train bridge and there towards uh, dining so there you go so let's carry on pretty quiet up here where the wood was so I'm going to move to the edge Go a little bit down and come through the middle and see if we can find some more okay let's carry on and the first musket ball and of course in the middle of the ant's nest so okay didn't see that in the and i hit it slightly as you can see, because I just couldn't see it. Cool. So, nice little musket ball. Off to the next. What a lovely pilgrim medal. One I certainly haven't seen before. Very nice. So this is going to be somewhere around uh, the 17th... Uh, 18th century, so 17... 30s maybe, something like that, 50s, cool, lovely, look at that head, everything's still so nice, very good, okay, let's carry on, and you can see where the tree is, so roughly this top part, what is a little bit darker, is actually how wide that piece was of the forest, and there's actually, I can see, um, a bench, so people might have boys sitting here. <laughs> cool. Let's carry on. And the blob of lead, but what is interesting is that's actually been cut in high cut. You can see straight edge right there. Well, it's definitely lead. You can see how easily it's bent. Hmm. Okay, off to the next. 
the next musket ball. Okay, off to the next. And a cartridge. Can't really see anything on the back. Okay, off to the next. Looks like the next musket ball. Yep. <sighs> Okay, off to the next. <laughs> so, looks like a bigger fragment of a bell. Oh, something like that. It definitely looks like a bell. But it is broken. Piece missing. Like that. It goes in actually pretty deep. That's going around there too. Cool. So, there is a piece missing, that's for sure. Yeah. And where is it in again? In the middle of an ant's nest. See all the ants running around. As always. Cool, nice piece. So, definitely some finds around. Some history on here. Okay, let's carry on. And another piece of the bell. Actually, <laughs> I think that's where I dug. Right there, I dug just now, and right next to it, I found another piece. Cool. Off to the next. So, that was it for today. Got myself some nice iron, uh, cartridge and everything else. Then, of course, the musket balls and the uh, medallion, plus the bell. And the second piece actually fits right there, so that's pretty good. And the belt buckle. Not a lot of modern trash, so that's nice. And of course the cartridge here and the lead. So, that was it. Ah, not quite sure if I'm going to go this evening. But now it's time to drive home, pick up the daughter and go into the gym so she can carry on training for the next tournaments. And I'll be doing a little bit of fitness training you know just a little maybe I go into the sauna even though it's going to be hot today <laughs> but never mind okay so I hope you all have a great Sunday or you had a great Sunday not quite I'm not going to be able to put this in this morning like I normally would have done but you will see it later and I presume most of you will have been detecting by then maybe not and if you were detecting I hope you had good luck and we'll see you the next time round. Until then, keep smiling, have fun, enjoy life. Bye-bye.